In this video, we look at the steps into installing the Live Server extension in both Visual Studio Code and Mozilla Firefox or any other browser. But for this specific video, I'll be demonstrating this on Mozilla Firefox. So in Visual Studio Code, click on the extensions icon and type in Live Server. And it's actually this one. So click on Install. And then what we want to do is go to Firefox and click on extensions, the extensions icon and also type in live server. Now click on the live server web extension and choose to add to Firefox and click on add and click OK. So I've actually uh, got the extension now. You can see this purpley thing. We need to set this up such that uh, we've put in the actual address and the live server address. So the actual address would be where you're, where you're loading the page from. So for me, it's the local host and it's sitting in the folder called PHP underscore MySQL. It could be different for you, but just put in the right, um, maybe just put the address of your local um, server. And then for the live server, it'll uh, for me, it's pretty much the same as what they've got in there. So I'm going to type in exactly that. So 127.0.0.0.0. Sorry, 0 0.0.1 colon 5500. And then I'm going to click on the live reload as well. This is really useful and click on apply. Next, what we want is um, to to go live from here so from visual studio code click on the go live and then what we want to do is um, do some changes here to see how this works so i'm going to add a paragraph and say hello um, and and click on save first i'm going to just save it and then and then i'll try to type more hello again and now I'm gonna save as soon as I saved I can see the changes instantly so I'll just show you one more time I'll say hello again just the same thing again and I'm gonna um, click on Control s on the keyboard and we see this again um, so if I go to the other PHP file as well where we've said that the database has been connected successfully I can add that two exclamation marks that we should see here as soon as I hit save. As soon as I hit save, we get the changes live instantly. So that's a nice feature and a nice extension to add that'll make your life a bit easier while you do this. So I hope this was helpful for you and I'll see you in the next video.